Pearl. She was born on August 9th of 2005. Hi everyone, how are you going? Let me just turn my volume down. Hello, Miriam from Nine Lives Artistry. On for our Wednesday, our first of our Wednesday night lives. So each Wednesday at eight o'clock, we're gonna come on and just be creative with you guys. Uh, when you jump on, let me know where you're jumping on from. Say hi. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Now I'm on my own tonight, so I'm the, the camera lady and the creative. But i um, got a few things that I want to do. So I've got a few little bits prepared. I'll just move it down a bit. And whoops, sorry about that. Hi Robin, how are you? I've just lost my head there. But, so I've got this box, memories box, I don't know, it's just a box. So what I've done, I've just put some Made by Paint in Blue Ink. So that's the under undercoat just there in the dark blue. It's got a bit of a shine to it, but that's because... I've put on a crackle medium so then I just went and put on white linen over the top so you just apply the crackle medium you don't work it too much give it a good stir and then you just pop it on it will stay shiny like you can see there so it's got shiny bits to it hi Rachel and you let it dry completely then you get whatever color that you want for it to um, to be on the top and you pop it on so you just wipe it or stroke one way uh, you don't want to work it too much because that will then lift the crackle um, from the bottom which I did in a couple of areas but I'm going to end up putting transfers on this so that doesn't matter so you pop it on and you'll see it start to start to work. So I've already put the underlayer on and I've put the, um, the crackle on, on, see, I've got the crackle all going on here, even on the hardware. So it's crackled on there as well. And I've left this bit so we can do that together. And I've also, I've had this for a while now. So it's just a round, it does have some glass around frame and I've, I've done a crackle on that as well. So just in a lighter colour and I've had this transfer for a long time but I haven't used it yet so I thought I would. So this is the Hocus Pocus Lighthouse and it's got lots lots of different pieces in it i've i've cut it up because i'm going to layer it but um yeah the images on the actual transfer tube themselves honestly don't do it justice but there's a lot of different images in there to choose from so i thought well you've got your round your round windows and things on your ships so I'm going to pop some of those into there and then I've got one more to do but let's get started and I'll just pop you actually I'll move that down a little bit more and we'll get crackling together Okay. So again, I've put the undercoat of the paint that I want to show through. It's usually a darker colour. And I'm just going to put the top layer on. Uh, the crackle is made by paint. 
crackle. Yeah, look, I've I have used other crackles before. I've actually also used um, PVA glue. That was a bit random in the way it worked, but we got there in the end. So I'm just going to just can you see that? I'm just doing the the strokes one way. Now the heavier the, the heavier the paint, the larger the crackle. And you can actually see it's already starting to crackle. So you see that? It's already crackling there, which is great. Now I'm gonna sit that aside and let that dry. And we're going to get on with this one here. So, can you see that properly? It is fast, Rochelle. Yeah, it really does take a minute and you see it, which is great. Now, these ones, so this says the old lighthouse on that on that part there. I may cut that a little bit more, not sure. And then we got the birdie, or seagull, I guess. But look at the detail in that. I really love that. Looks like it's been drawn with a pencil. A nice sketch there. Thanks for joining me, guys. Really appreciate all of the support okay now so I have painted this in linen chalk paint and then I've sealed it so make sure you seal it so it gives gives your transfer something strong to grab to they don't like porous surfaces too much okay I'm just gonna go there okay done now we'll get this on. If you're new to transfers, um, they can be a bit daunting at times. I think um, it's a matter of just trying something small at first. Get the, the, most of the designs you can cut up anyway. Um, but this one in particular is a cut up design um, and just take a little bit and pop it on a, on a small piece. Uh, you, they go onto glass, metal, mirrors, windows, wood, plastic. Um, come on, what else haven't I said? <laughs> Yeah, they go on to so many different surfaces. Just ensure that your surface is clear, clean, sorry. And yeah, away you go. I like to hold it taut, if that makes sense. Um, and it kind of, to me, I feel that it helps release the transfer from the backing, sh uh, from the from the transfer film and then you can see once the transfer has started to lift away from the sheet because it the color changes so you can see I can't see in this light very well you can see this section just here that has released from the top so it's more translucent than than the rest of the of the image. Hey Stace, how you going doll? I'm loving what you're bringing out lately. Beautiful colors. So yeah, you, you just, you can't go wrong really with your transfer on a flat surface. So also mm. if it's, if it's something new to you, use it on a flat surface, get to know the feel of whatever brand it is you you're using. Um, you know, they are similar, but they are different. So you, and if you, you miss a bit, you pull it up and you've missed a bit. So here, see there's still some there actually on the film. 
I'm just going to put it back down and rub it over. Now if you're on a surface or substrate that's not flat, you, you can potentially get cracks and areas that you may need to, if you want to, if that's the look you're going for, go through and blend. So I, I've done that before um, on some, some surfaces where I've got, you know, you've got the um, timber that's kind of like the, um, the floorboards or the, I'm losing my words. You know what I'm talking about. But you just... Now, I did the naughty, and you should really have your surface painted and sealed for, I would say, at least a few hours and not just, like, half an hour like I did. So it is lifting the paint and the, um, the sealer a little bit. But that's okay because it is going to be a rustic kind of finish anyway so once they start lifting see I'm, I'm just holding this edge and I'm just holding it taut I don't know whether you can see that once I rub the stick over it and then I lift it off it lifts and the transfer is left behind so it's helping that release from the from the transfer sheet off to the substrate. And I'm just gonna keep going. If you're using a larger transfer and this gets too much for you, cut it off. You don't need it. You know, the only thing you need it for is for you know for you to hold. But if it's too much, you only need a little bit to hold, so you don't have to have to worry about having it leaving it all there there's no issue of you cutting it off at all and I hope I'm not getting anyone dizzy spinning this around so the crackles drying quite nicely which is great and this is coming off quite nicely too I hope you can see properly. Can everyone see well? I am i don't have my glasses on and my lights doesn't seem to be the best. Oh, it looks all right on my iPad. Stacey, you make the things that you do look easy. I'm sure they are for you because you do them all the time. <laughs> but it's amazing. All your layering of stencils and different mediums it's beautiful okay and if if you get an area that doesn't want to sit stick just keep going it will end up sticking as long as you've waited your oh thanks Rochelle that's good <laughs> I quickly jumped and got the kids into bed, although they're probably still awake in there. But, and then I thought, oh no, I don't have my lighting. So, let, okay. So there's that, that bit done. So we've got that. My husband's just taken our 16 year old out for a driving lesson and she hasn't driven at all yet, even though she got her L's August 2020. So she was a bit of a chicken, but okay, I'll leave that for now. If anyone can hear that crying, it's not my kids, it's our neighbors. Okay, I'm just going to cut this off. Not that I have to, but it's just easier for me. I'd like to cut them off. Now I am going to layer this. Just 
trying to work out where. Maybe he should be going up. Mm, that'll do. Okay. So once you, I mean, you've got quite a bit of leeway with the Hocus Pocus transfers um, when you put it on your surface. Like you can move them around quite a lot. Hi, Sue. And, but once you commit, once you've put that bit of pressure on, you commit. So, so leave it there. Um, so, yeah, you saw that I moved that around quite a bit. But, yeah, once, once you decide that that's your placement and you commit to it, you may be able to lift it back off. But maybe not always. So, so I mean, this is coming off so easily, which is great. As I said, you, you need to have a sealed surface and don't do what I did and only seal it an hour beforehand and then heat dry it. Uh, yes, that is the, it's the bamboo stick that comes with it. So it's probably, and it's a bit bigger than like the, um, what do you call them? The tongue depressors that you get. So it's, it's not as narrow as that. It's a bit bigger than that. Okay, so there's the birdie who's on there now. And they also come with a cotton glove. And that's for burnishing. So once you've got your transfer completely on where you want it, you want to go over and burnish it. So just give it a nice good rub and a little bit of pressure so you make sure it's adhered to the surface properly and you're good to go. Now, where do I want to put this? Actually, I'm going to cut this as well. And there we go. I'll put that one there. I mean, a lot of them, the uh, solid designs, you don't need to cut up. You can if you choose. You don't need to. But, um, yeah, I love to kind of put my own spin on where they are. I was at a lady's the other day doing, um, doing a private lesson with her and teaching her how to put them on. She said, no, I think we should leave them as they are. The, the lady that's designed them has obviously made them that way and I think they know best. So, yeah, each to their own. You've got your, your um, options, so whatever suits you or whatever floats your boat, whichever way you would like to to do it now this is because i was naughty and didn't follow the destructions or so it's not wanting to sit my sealer probably wasn't even dry properly to be honest so nothing to do with the transfer it's all me. So it's just some areas. So this is a good blending opportunity. So I will get some paint and a fine tip and I will just fill in those areas before I seal. I'm just going to continue going and... I will see. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Uh, 
Um, I've used the um, the satin made by paint poly seal, so it's completely non toxic. Um, no VOCs and indoor and outdoor as well. So it's quite an all-rounder, which is great. Um, so I'm just lifting this up so it spends less time on the paint, which seems to be working a bit better for me. But we're here, well, I'm here to show you what not to do as well as what to do. Okay, there we go. So that too, I will fix that little bit up. And we will get to Lighthouse. I don't really want to put it on the lighthouse, but it's not going to look right down there. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to put it on the lighthouse. Let my OCD just... Yeah, it's... Funny, I'm fussy about some things and other things I'm not. Is anyone else like that? I feel sometimes I just go, no, I can't. That just is wrong. It does not look right. It doesn't anything and other, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit weird. So again, I'm just holding that taut. Is that even the right word? I think it is. Not taut as in I'm teaching. Taut as in holding something, you know. I think I do. Yeah, right, Rochelle? I, yeah, like to have so many things, but it's only certain things. You know what? One of my biggest things, and I've I've got myself out of it, but not through a very good way. When I'm hanging clothes on the line, I have to have the same colour pegs on the the clothing. So for a while there, I just said, "Well, I'm just not going to hang the clothes out." So I just use the dryer. <laughs> but now I've just got all the same colour. So I've just got all steel ones, so I don't have to worry about whether they're the same colour or not. As long as they're hung the right way, that's fine. Okay. So that one's done. Okay. I'll just, I've got the glass over there. I'm just cleaning it, but that's... Kind of what she'll be be looking like once I've done that blending so that's quite simple and didn't take very long either which was great okay so let's see how this crackle is holding up still not completely dry yet but get a load of that getting there Okay, now this is a different one. So this is a um, Aussie Decor transfer. And they've had a bit of a few issues with the glue. So it was fast, wasn't it, right? <laughs> um, so I'm just going to show you how you can use, if you do get any of the... Aussie decor transfers and they tend to stick they they've stuck um, you can easily still use the transfer and just cut that section out um, well I can with this one anyway so I'm just going to cut that C 
section off and we'll see how it looks it might might look all right I think we'll see okay so this is from the everything Hamptons range or pack so that's it there yes Rochelle they have um, and it wasn't all of them uh, there was a few uh, from a few different packs but they seem to be the same images that stuck so um, I'm pretty sure that Deb has fix that uh, with the manufacturer so because I'm, I'm using a round substrate I'm just going to round this off a bit just to make it easier and if you're going to cut your transfers just make sure that you leave the backing paper on when you cut them it just makes it makes it easier okay So you don't have as much leeway with these as you do with the Hocus Pocus one that I was just using. So yeah, once you kind of put it down and you've touched the substrate, don't lift it. Hi Ella, how are you? Okay. Now this was a textured surface underneath also. I'd done a raised stencil on it once for, I don't know, Christmas I think it was. But I've just gone over that with some, gave it a sand, went over it with some paint, just change it up a bit. everybody up to oh you're having a frothy oh good on you <laughs> I bet you've got a few things on the go out there so same thing uh, with these when it's releasing it becomes more transparent from the top film than it does once it's still on there so you can see that it's you know it's released Are you selling them off undone, untouched? I did that not long ago. It gets a bit claustrophobic sometimes, doesn't it? I think Sue should do that with her pews that she got. I know someone that would take them. <laughs> At least at least one Do that 
that way so you can see a bit better. <laughs> Come on, if, if we cut one in half, Sue, you're still going to have, you know, how many metres worth of pew? <laughs> At least let, let me watch you, you do one. <laughs> oh, that sounds a bit wrong. Yeah, just scrub that. Pretend I didn't say that. So I've got a bit of a round edge on this here, or a lip, I should say. So I'm just getting up in that lip there. They certainly were the ultimate bargain. Uh, do you mean um, wholesale, Rochelle, or retail? Because they're some of the ADT ones are a little bit more expensive than the Hocus Pocus. Um, So the ones that have more images in them are more than, I think they're 75, 65 to 75. Um, so like the Everything Hamptons, the one that this one's out of, 70, 65 or 75. I honestly can't remember. My brain's a bit dead right now. Um, so that's that one there. I think you get about eight images in that. Uh, they do tell you, it roughly works out the same size as the Hocus Pocus um, ones. So it just depends on the kind of design you're after, I suppose. Uh, but then the Hocus Pocus have the small ones as well and the ADT have the, the smaller packs. I think 55 might be... I know that's like the pink galah one is 55 from memory. So, yeah. Okie doke. Is that a bit of a burnish on? And she's done. Little tray, big kind of tray. That was a Kmart, I think it was $8 or something. So I've had that as a Christmas tray and now... A vasey tray so yeah that's pretty cool okay now let me just give this a little bit of a heat so it's so you can see it completely dry I'm going to put some transfers on this too, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I think it's, I'm going to be good and let the sealer actually stay on for a bit longer. And at least then, because with, that's if you can even hear me, with the crackle medium underneath as well, especially in the areas where I've got the larger cracks, that's where I've put a larger amount of paint. So I really want that to seal properly. Ursula, I'll do another crackle demo and I'll do one from start to finish. I only did this little part now, um, but you can go back on and check, check it out on the replay. It's not really difficult, just using some of the Made by Paint crackle medium and you just have your base colour, whichever colour you want to show through. So you've got your base and then you pop the crackle medium on, put it, I did it every which way so I could get cracks that were horizontal and vertical and then let it dry. Let it dry completely 
and then when you put your top layer of paint on you'll see within five seconds it starts to crack so it, it's quite a, a, a quick experience <laughs> but yeah I'll definitely do do another one See, this part here is still a little bit wet, so I won't be able to sand and seal it now, but you, you get the picture. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that can go on anything as well. Anything that you can paint, you can put this on. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I don't know how long we were on for, but long enough. And um, it's made by paint. So I retail the made by paint, chalk paint and uh, their finishing ranges. Uh, and this is the first time I've used this on a big piece. I have used it on a couple of little suitcases, uh, but this was a bit bigger. So, yeah, it's definitely, the cracks have definitely shown through a lot more, which is great. Uh, if you don't have this and can't get it, you can use, I have used PVA glue and it, it won't work with mineral paint though um, because I tried it with my vintage bird. I think because it's got an inbuilt sealer, it won't work. So if you use it with a chalk based paint, you're fine. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. Thanks, Dawn. Thanks, Rochelle. Everybody else, thank you. Thanks, Sue. And yeah, we'll see you next Wednesday, hopefully. Um, if you're free to join, that'd be great. So if you've got any questions, just shoot us through a message and I'll get back to you. Okay, good night, guys. Thank you.